It's going to be a hot one. In fact, temperature will climb even higher than yesterday, and the trend isn't over yet. That'll be the case heading into tomorrow at the very least, with more records uh, possibly tied or even set. We might even uh, break some of our all-time records across parts of Utah. Luckily, a little bit of relief on tap by early next week. But for this morning, more of the same. We've got fair skies, uh, mild temperatures for the most part. So if you've got anything to get done outside early on, is obviously your best bet. 73 in Salt Lake with a breeze southeast, 7 miles per hour. And cool 59 in Logan. Nice chance to cool the house off there. Most valleys are in the 60s. St. George, you're starting out in the low 80s. And overall weather pattern is about the same. High pressure, which started out earlier this week along the coast, is gradually making its way east. It's nudging into Utah today as it approaches temperature climbs even a little bit higher. But at the same time, over the top of that, there's a northwesterly flow uh, with some gusty winds possible over some of the higher terrain in central Utah, leading to high fire danger again. And with that northerly flow, most of any smoke from existing wildfires drift south into uh, south central and southwest Utah, but might become a little more, more uh, widespread than that and obviously continue even farther south down into Arizona. Now, today's forecast for Salt Lake City is 104. That's our record, so there's a chance we could tie it. We'll get a little breeze out of the northwest in the afternoon, but obviously with it getting that hot, that's not going to bring much relief. In fact, most valleys will be ranging from the upper 90s into the low 100s. You'll be near 90 at Park City as well as Evanston, St. George. It's just going to be another scorcher. Temperature will climb all the way up to 114. Close to that tomorrow, possibly dropping a little bit by Friday, but over the weekend, uh, things will hopefully be feeling a little bit better. It's still going to be extremely hot, but it'll become partly cloudy and potentially drop several degrees. And in Salt Lake City, it's going to be, well, not into the uh, quadruple digits on Friday. How about a high of 105? That's bad enough, right? And then by the end of the weekend, we'll begin to drop and hopefully into the upper 90s by early next week.